Hi everyone. Sorry I haven't been posting. I actually went on vacation uh, last week. Uh, the weekend of, well, I was gone from March 17th till the 22nd. So, actually no, the 21st. I went to San Francisco to surprise a very good friend of mine. Uh, you may know her as Paper Confessions with Karamia. Um, I think I've said this before, I know I have, that me and uh, Clarissa have been friends for years because we actually worked together mm, about, yeah, more than 20 years ago. So um, I wanted to, to surprise her for her 50, oh, maybe I shouldn't even say how old she is, but I wanted to surprise her for um, a very special birthday. Um, actually, a mutual friend of ours is the one that came up with the idea, called me up and, um, you know, was like, hey, why don't you surprise her for her birthday? And I thought, that's a good plan. I haven't been back to the Bay Area for mm, 10 years now. So this would be a, a really good opportunity for me to, you know, to go. So I had to do, I had to go into ninja mode and pick her brain uh, for the details of the party to be sure that it was going to be on the day that, um, you know, we were thinking it was going to be on. So I could go ahead and get my ticket. Hold on, let's turn on this light here. So when I confirmed it, I went ahead and got the ticket as I was talking with her on the phone, which is hilarious, and then texted my, you know, our mutual friend and said, mission accomplished, ticket purchased. So then we had to wait a whole month before, you know, before the birthday party and just keep it a secret. No, nobody else in our group knew. So um, let's just say that the surprise worked out and we had a very memorable night all together. It was a very good trip. I got to spend a lot of quality time with my friends, um, you know, catching up and stuff. And now I really want to go back again and spend more time. So I'm planning to make another trip in the fall and stay probably a little over a week. And um, yeah. So while I was there, um, I didn't usually, I didn't do my usual stuff when I go back to visit because I used to go back. Oh, I didn't realize my microphone was hidden here. I used to go back every year or every other year, you know, to visit. And I always had this plan, you know, okay, I'm going to hit up all of my old haunts. I'm going to see my friends, you know, do all of these things. But this trip was different. Um, I didn't really, I didn't even go and see my old neighborhood. And I used to live in North Beach. Um, so, you know, I, I just felt like I needed to spend more time, you know, quality time with my friends. So the only place that I really went to for shopping was Japantown because that was the one thing that I did tell my friend Roberto that I wanted to go it was like, I have to go to Japantown. I cannot, I cannot leave without going there. So he did take me and I did some shopping over at Mido, which is the Japanese um, stationery store there. I've been shopping there for years since the 1990s and it has not changed. Um, they still always have the best stuff outside of Japan. So these two bags have a lot of the stuff that I purchased. I also get, did get some stuff from um, Kunikaniya, the bookstore, and maybe I think there should be some stuff in there from uh, one of these pop-up stores and a toy store. So let's go ahead and get started. And sorry if this microphone keeps falling. I just don't like the clip. I need to figure out how to clip this on better. So I hope that I'm not going to be getting any feedback as well. Okay, so let's get started. We'll start with the bigger bag because I know that's from Mido. Okay, so um, backstory. So the day that we went to um, Mido <laughs> was the day after the party. And uh, let's just say that after the party... You know, we did a lot of drinking, obviously, because it's a celebration. Um, we did a lot of drinking. And then when we got back to my friend's place, we still continued to drink and talk. And so the next morning, consequently, we woke up ex extremely exhausted, not hungover, but just extremely exhausted from the lack of sleep, basically. So, um, you know, so we get to Mido and I, my friend was waiting outside for me and um it was just overwhelming, you know, because there's so much stuff and I'm the type that I'm going to look over everything. But at the same time, I don't want my friends sitting out there dying, waiting on, you know, waiting on me. So I tried to move as fast as I could. 
And you would think, okay, I only like, I only had like a handful of stuff and yet, holy crap, how did I end up spending $132? I know. Okay, so let's get started. Um, let's start with these two stamps here. Now, I've seen these stamps before. I actually saw somebody using this one. And this is really good for, you know, ink samples for uh, fountain pens. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get it because it's cheaper than me having to order it online and pay shipping. So yes, this stamp was $12.95, but I felt like, you know, like I said, I, I really wanted this so that I could start over on my ink journal and just use this. And then I thought this was a really cute stamp. It was $5.75. They had a whole bunch of different cat ones, but this one kind of spoke to me. So I only got these two stamps. Okay. Um, I did get this um, enamel pen, Colors of San Francisco. I got the cable car. Um, I like enamel pens, and every time I go back to visit, I'm always getting San Francisco stuff because, you know, it's, I used to live there. I love the city. Okay. Um, I picked these two up because I plan on putting them on my um, traveler's notebooks. Okay. So this one, I like this. It says my note. What does this say? I can't really even read it. I love what stationery and then looks like tape. And then you got this one here for travel. Okay. And yeah, by BMG, they're deco stickers. They were $7.95 each. So now you can see why I spent as much as I did. I normally wouldn't spend that much. But like I said, it was pretty much the only store that I hit up minus the mochi store, but that's another story. So then I also got this because it was in the same aisle as the enamel pens. Um, go to Thomas stickers, but they're San Francisco themed. And I thought this was so cute so that when I do my um, memory um, journaling, I can use these. And this was $5.95. So we've got this. This is um, a memo pad with the uh, you know, the various teacups, and I will get up closer so you can see the other sheets. There you go. Really cute. 25 seat, uh, sheets for each design, so there's 100. Um, that's where we had lunch. It was across, kind of down the street, across the street. It's a um, bullet train sushi and bar. It was really good. Um, we had sake as well, so I did get the card. This, uh, yes, I also still got this over at Mido, um, some stickers. So I got the, uh, the ladies, I can't remember, the painted ladies, that's what it is. Um, you know, the full house show. So you, you would see that, I think, in the beginning of the show, in the intro. And then I thought this was cute because it's a cat sitting in a boba tea thingy. So I might put these on my laptop or something. They were... This one was $3.95. I think this one was as well. It doesn't have a sticker. I mean, a price sticker. I got this one because, I, you know me, I love grid. And it's another memo pad. But it looks like there's different, I don't know. I think it's just this grid right here. And this was also $5.95. Now, this is really good quality paper, I'm sure. Since it's from... Uh, I thought it was from Japan, but who knows? I guess I'm assuming it is, okay? So I picked that up. Um, here's a bookmarker from Punakania. Um, let's get to these, the stickers. So they have a wall of stickers. I didn't take any pictures while I was in there because I was just like, I don't have time for that. I need to go through everything as much as I can. So um, I found this. This is beautiful. Um I should have bought two. I can't remember how much they were. I think they were $3.95 each. But, you know, I'm going back in the fall, so I'll probably buy some more. But it's it's just, they're beautiful. I thought these were cute, too. The anime eyes. I got another set that are, like, stamps. They're really pretty. And then this one is Japan-related. So this one I'm going to use in my um, travel journal for my Japan trip, which I still have not finished. And that was in 2019. Okay. I did get some pens. Hold on here. So this was probably the last part of when I was shopping there. Um, 
yeah, I didn't really have a lot of time and it was just so overwhelming because, you know, they have such a huge selection. So what I did was I, I got some Colettos, okay, the inks. They had 0 0.4. Uh, we'll see. I mean, five is all, point 0.5 is already kind of like pushing it for me, but um, I'm willing to try it. And if, you know, if these work out, then I'll try ordering from Jet Pens. And then the pens that I got, so I did get this one right here. It's a high tech C Coletto. So this one is just $2.95, and then, you know, you fill it up. Okay. So I, this one has one, two, three. So this one had three. Okay. And then I also picked up this inner gel right there. Hold on. Let me focus. Focus. There you go. It's an inner gel. Um, this was $3.95. I have a whole mess load of refills. So that's the reason why I picked this. Um, because I have a lot of refills, so it's the needle point. And then, of course, I was super excited because I saw this across from the register. And, you know, when I was in Japan, I was wanting to buy my own Honko, okay? But um, they didn't have my name at the time when I was able to finally come across it. So, great. Hold on, I'm trying to focus. Okay, so here we go. I found my name. Although it has an E, that's fine. It's close enough. It, my name is actually J-O capital A-N-N, -N, but this is close enough. Yeah, they had a honko. And this was, I want to say it was maybe $8.95 or $10.95. Not sure. Worth the uh, purchase though. I need to find, I need to buy the ink pad and the um, container. They had the, the case um, with the ink pad, but I think they were wanting to, they were selling it for like $15. And I was like, no, I'm not, spending, you know, I'm not spending that much. So I'm going to look on Amazon and see how much it is. And then I found these two pins. So that's one of San Francisco. That is the picture. That's actually supposed to be the Transamerica building, I think. And then, um, of course, the Golden Gate. Okay. And... This was the last one that I purchased. This was $7.95. Okay, there we go. It is actually an amulet traffic safety. So I need to put this in my car. Yeah, and it's got the little little type. Or maybe it's just a frog. I don't know which, but I just thought it was cute. So I, I went ahead and got that. So that is what I got over at, um, at Mido. I know. Can you... I mean, look at that. It doesn't seem like it's a lot, but... I mean, I spent that much money. So when I go back to visit, I already have a $5 credit because I had spent so much, which I feel like I should have gotten more than just a $5 credit. Um, yeah, I can't wait to go back. I really want to go back as soon as possible. All right, so let's put these away. I'm so glad I finally filmed this so now I can finally use this stuff. Okay, so the next bag... Now let's put these back here. I don't want to lose the card. Um, so I did go to Kunikania, but I didn't really find a lot of stuff. There was, okay, I found stuff, but I just didn't, uh, after what I spent over at Mito, I was like, oh God, I've spent way too much. I need to slow down. So I was more inclined to look for stuff for my nieces and nephews um, than for myself, unless it was something I just could not live without. So let's go ahead and get started with these two figures. So these are Rement figures. Oops, let's, there we go. Yeah, they're little cats. This one is hilarious because it's, um, it's got bakery goods. It's just holding it, okay? This one right here, it's got like um, tempura, sushi, you know, stuff like that. They're blind boxes. So I'm going to give this because I have a niece that loves cats and then I'll maybe I'll give it to one of my other nieces. Um, I've already given away one set of Pokemon cards, um, but this one right here is for my nephew and it is Pokemon, Japanese Pokemon cards, which are kind of hard to find here. 
at least here in Memphis, it's always, you know, the American one. So I thought he should have at least some Japanese ones. Um, cause it looks cool. It'll look, you know, a good addition to his, um, collection. And then there was a pop-up store, like I said, across the, the hall from the, uh, toy store. And they had a lot of really cool stuff. The actual artists were there. So I picked up these postcards. It's two, $3 or two for five. And I really liked the designs. They had this one in um, different colors, but I like this one the most. So um, yeah, and it's of Japantown. And then I did pick this one up because this is a, it's a sticker of Twin Peaks, the tower that's a uh, looming over San Francisco. If you ever get a chance to go to San Francisco, you must go to Twin Peaks because you get an amazing view of the city, be it during the day or at night. It's even better at night. And then I also picked up these two pins. I think this was still from Kunikania. And I thought they were just funny because the cat's like that. Oops. Sorry. There we go. One says suck. everything sucks and the other is like meh. So, yeah. So that is it in terms of like my little haul from Japantown. Um, yeah, it's not a lot, but you know, like I said, uh, I first hit up the mochi store there, uh, Nippon Ya, I think is the name of it, and dropped like $94 on mochi for my family. Uh, but this is high, this is really good mochi. It's straight, you know, it's direct from Japan. Um, mostly I got green tea. I got a box of like Sakura flavored. I got an, a box that's assorted. And the best one I think is the Muscat grapes, or, um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, those, when I opened them, oh my God, they taste so good. They taste just like the grapes. So that was worth it. Um, what else did I get from Japantown? We stopped at the supermarket and I bought us a big bottle of sake to replenish what we had already drank the, the, uh, the night before. Actually, we were drinking the whiskey that I brought from uh, Memphis. It's a, it's a, there's a distillery downtown called Old Dominic's and they had some really good uh, whiskey. So I had brought a bottle called Memphis Toddy. It's amazing. Um, so I'm definitely having to bring a couple bottles of those when I go back. But anyways, um, check out Clarissa's um, channel. I'll, the link will be below because she is also going to probably talk about her birthday and how I surprised her. <laughs> so I hope everybody enjoyed this little haul and I will see you in the next video. Bye.